Hello and Namaste everyone, myself Nilesa, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial video of eTabs, we will see how can we draw spiral staircase. So let us start with a new model. After creating a new model, we need a beam to be defined and drawn here. So I will be using the beam that I have defined earlier. In the quick draw beam section, we can see here in property we can use beam and now let us draw our beam in that section or in that grid where we want our staircase to be start or to begin and for that let me do for all the stories here so I need my staircase to be started from this point so I will be drawing my beam here you can see in 3d mode also and now I will get out of this command and now I will divide this beam into two parts so that I can draw my staircase in half of that area okay now here you can see I have divided my frame that is I have divided my beam here here as you can see I have selected these two beams here it is written here 8 frames selected that means it's uh, here you can see one joint and another joint is here in between and the third joint is here that is two beams in each floor it means eight beams in four floors and now after selecting this one half beam i will extrude it to cell okay so go to edit and now extrude and now extrude frames to cell go to radial extrusion and now pick one point that is pick the point from where about which point you want to extrude radially that is i want my staircase to be extruded radially in this direction with the center point being grid point c3 so i will select this point okay so here you can see x coordinate 16 meter and y coordinate 16 meter that is x coordinate is this is 16 this is 4 sorry this is 8 and this is 8 here it is 16 and in y also this is 8 and this is 8 so 16 16 and now how many number of stairs how many number you want you can give here suppose i gave here 30 numbers okay and the total angle is 360 divided by 30 and enter so it will be 12 degree for it and the total drop that is the height of one story and the height of one story here is 3 meter so it will be 3 meter here and now apply here you can see in the 3d view the spiral staircase has been drawn and now if you want to see it more clearly go to set display option and set uh, view by colors of section properties apply okay and let us rotate this view here you can see your spiral staircase and it has been rotated about grid point c3 that is this point that we selected here and pick one point on model so you can see your spiral staircase has been created and now i would like to extrude my joints into frames so for that select this joint and select this joint but i do not want to select the joint of base story so i will cancel that okay and now go to edit and extrude extrude joints to frames and radial extrusion and pick one point on the model so i will pick this point only so that i can create this uh, joint extrusion on both the edges of my staircase and now the same number i will give you 30 the number that we provided earlier for 
360 by 30 enter okay that we provided for staircase also okay now cancel it and extruded view toggle and now we will delete this half beam which is not in use so once we go to all stories select this beam and go to edit and delete it okay so now in 3d view just rotate your view and you can see here you have created your spiral staircase here okay here you can see clearly here you can see these lines yeah these lines here that you provide 30 number of lines for one drop each of 12 degree angle so in this way you can create your spiral staircase and please subscribe to my channel for more etabs videos and if you want to learn etabs from beginning then you can visit my channels you can find all the videos from beginning to the detailing that is to the last of etabs thanks for watching